Hi there, this is Tony from Pianotone.ca. Do you have a Yamaha DGX 670 digital piano and you're trying to use it as a MIDI controller and it's not working? For example, you're trying to use it with a piano learning app like uh, Simply Piano or Flowkey and the app isn't detecting the notes you're playing. Or you're trying to trigger sounds or control MIDI instruments in apps like GarageBand or a MIDI sound bank like Numa Player and it's not working. Well, pretty much every keyboard or digital piano that I have ever owned or reviewed will work as a MIDI controller right out of the box. You, all you have to do is connect it to your device without uh, you needing to do a single thing on your keyboard. But that's not the case with the DGX670, which is a bit strange. At first, I was actually wondering if my uh, lightning adapter or my USB cables were defective, and I started testing them on all my other keyboards until I realized that MIDI is actually disabled on the DGX670 by default. But the fix is super easy and not a big deal uh, once you know, first of all, that you need to do this and then how to do it. So uh, as well as uh, showing you how to get all of that set up, I'm also going to talk a little bit about something called local control, uh, what it is and why you may want to set it to on or off in different situations. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Let's check it out. Okay, so for those of you who are already familiar with MIDI and local control and how all of that stuff works, and you're just here to see what it is you have to do on your DGX to get MIDI up and running and how to turn local control on or off, Look in the description below and you're going to find a link to the solution and then you can just skip this next section. So now for those of you who aren't uh, f that familiar with MIDI, uh, here is a very uh, quick uh, background on that. MIDI is not the sound of your keyboard. It is the data of what you played, what keys you pressed, how hard you pressed them, how long you held them down, uh, were you pressing the sustain pedal at the same time, all of that kind of thing. So on a digital piano or a keyboard, when you uh, play a note, you're generating this MIDI data, and then the processor that's built into your keyboard uses that data to play back the appropriate sounds using your current selected voice on your keyboard. So I'm going to switch now to a view that's showing my iPad, which is connected to my uh, DGX 670 with just a normal USB cable, like a printer cable, and a lightning adapter for my uh, iPad. Now you can also use your MIDI compatible keyboard to send that same MIDI data to an app or software on a device. And then that app can use that MIDI data the same way your keyboard does. That's how an app like Simply Piano, which I've got up and running on my iPad right now, uh, can tell what notes you're playing and let you know if you're playing the correct ones. So keep in mind that the audio in this section uh, that you're hearing is going to be coming from my iPad, not from my piano's uh, headphones or uh, outputs, etc. So this is what you would hear if you had your headphones connected to your iPad. So apps like Simply Piano uh, will also usually have a generic uh, piano sound built in so that when you play a note, you not only see on the screen what, you're pl what you've played, but you can also hear what you're playing through headphones or speakers on your device. So once again, keep in mind, this is not the sound of the DGX 670 that you're about to hear. It's just the piano sound that's built into uh, the Simply Piano app. So I'm just going to go into Simply Piano and I'm going to find a little five minute workout thing here just to demonstrate this and I'll do flashcard challenge. So it's wanting me to play a uh, G over an A minor chord. So there's the G. You could see that it uh, picked the note up and that you could hear it. And then the A minor chord in the uh, bottom is being fingered like this. So I was slow there, so I'll do it quicker. There you go. So you can see it's recognizing the notes and it's also uh, generating the uh, piano sound uh, for you to hear using its own built-in sound. Now, another very common use for MIDI is to give yourself access to new additional sounds that your keyboard doesn't have built in. You can do this by uh, using your MIDI keyboard uh, to trigger sounds that are built into uh, uh, like a sound bank on a device. So for example, I have an app called uh, Numa Player, which is a fantastic app and it's free, uh, which is super cool. I will be doing a review on this uh, pretty soon. This has a whole bunch of different sounds built in. There's acoustic piano, electric pianos, uh, uh, random keyboards, and some strings and pads and things. So for example, if I, uh, I've got harpsichord selected, I'll just play some of that. So you can see it's uh, recognizing my notes on the little keyboard down at the bottom, but uh, you can also uh, select any of these different sounds that are built into Numa Player. So I could select uh, electric piano as well. Okay, so here's the solution. When you take your DGX 670 out of the box and try to use it with apps as a MIDI controller, it's not going to work since MIDI is disabled by default. So you can see I'm playing keys on the piano now, and they're not being uh, detected by my Numa Player app. You're not hearing any sounds, and you're not seeing uh, the keyboard get picked up. So to enable MIDI, you press Menu, 
and then use the tab uh, button to go over to menu two, the menu two tab, and then uh, navigate over to MIDI and press enter. And you can see that it's uh, highlighted that uh, MIDI is off. Now there's a lot of options and a ton of customization you can do in here if you're a MIDI wizard, but the point of this video is just to get MIDI up and running on your DGX. So the quick and easy way to do that is to just scroll up and select all parts. And that's all you have to do. Now if this, uh, uh, whatever happens to be in this preset setting works for what you want it to do, then you're never going to have to do this again because the DGX670 remembers this setting when it's turned off and then back on again. So now when I go back to uh, Nemo Player, you can see that it is recognizing my uh, uh, notes again. And remember the audio that you're hearing is coming from my uh, iPad, not my piano. So once again, this is the piano sound built into the app that you're hearing. This is what you would hear through headphones connected to the iPad. So after you've enabled MIDI, what do you hear if you plug your headphones into your piano instead of the iPad? Well, on almost all digital pianos and keyboards, you're only going to hear your piano. You won't hear the audio from the iPad app. And you would see the notes being recognized by the app, but you wouldn't hear anything from the app. So you wouldn't hear the piano sound built into Simply Piano, and you wouldn't hear any of the sounds being generated from uh, this new player app I've got going. But on the DGX670, you actually do hear your iPad when you've got your headphones plugged into the piano. And that is because the DGX670 has an audio interface built into the USB port. So that means that the DGX is not only sending uh, MIDI data through this cable, but it's also sending audio, and it's sending audio in both directions. So that's why you hear your iPad's audio as well as your piano, which is a fantastic feature. So that's what brings me uh, to that local control feature I was talking about. So what local control does is turn off your DGX 670's internal sounds so that when you press a key on the DGX, you don't hear anything. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say I'm uh, using NUMA player and I want to use, uh, let's say I'm going to go back to that harpsichord sound. If local control is on with my headphones plugged into the piano, I'm going to hear both my DGX's current sound, which is just the default piano, and the harpsichord. So I just want to hear the sound from the iPad, so what I do is turn local control off. To do that from this uh, MIDI screen with whatever uh, uh, preset I've got selected, so I've got all parts selected, I'm going to press edit in the bottom right, and then you can see uh, local control is shown up there, and then I can actually edit local or turn local control on or off for the song playing in the background, the accompaniment style, the uh, left voice, the main voice, or the layered voice on my piano. I'm just, I've only got one voice selected, so I'm just going to turn local control off for the main voice. Now when I play, you're only going to hear the harpsichord sound coming from Numa Player. Let me turn it back on. So note now that if I press uh, exit, you can see all parts is still uh, circled, but it's not yellow anymore, and that's because I've edited that preset, and I can't actually save that uh, if I wanted to in here because these are the uh, presets on the piano so it doesn't let me change any of those That's why the save button is disabled So if I've changed this setting and maybe I've also changed a whole bunch of other settings in there And this is a setup. I'm going to use a lot. Maybe I do want to save it. So to do that I would navigate to the user tab and Now I can save my setup here and give it a name. You can see the save button is enabled So I'll click save and I'll call it main local off And I'll click OK, and then now it's saving it, and now I've got this uh, preset in here. So now instead of having to go into MIDI and manually turning local control off every time in any other settings I might have changed, I could just choose uh, this uh, preset now that I've saved it from the user tab. Something to note here though, if I happen to turn my DGX off with this setting chosen, it will remember that and load it when I turn the DGX uh, back on. So while having MIDI enabled by default when you turn on your keyboard, let's, by, let's say by using that all parts uh, preset, isn't a bad idea. Having local control turned off by default means when I turn the piano back on, I'm not going to hear any DGX sounds unless I turn local control back on again. So to be honest, for this example, since I'm only changing the one little setting, I probably wouldn't bother creating a custom user preset. Uh, what I actually have uh, set up for when I actually am using my DGX my, myself is I have all parts enabled by default when I turn the piano on. So it will work as a MIDI controller and then I can choose to turn local control on or off uh, when I need to because it doesn't take too long. Now also keep in mind that you might want uh, local control turned on in some situations. For example, I love my DGX piano's uh, main piano sound, but let's say I really like a pad sound that's built into NUMA player. 
So I'm going to go over to uh, Numa Player and I'm going to choose uh, one of these pads. Choose a synth pad. So let's see, I really like that pad sound. If I turn uh, local control back on again, now it's just basically like I've layered my uh, DGX 670 uh, piano sound with the pad. So it does open up quite a few uh, options for you. Now what about for something like simply uh, piano? Would I turn local control off for that too if I had my headphones plugged into my uh, piano or would I uh, leave it on? Well, to be honest, since the DGX piano sound is a lot nicer than the sound built into the Simply Piano app, I would probably leave local control on. And then in the Simply Piano app, there's actually a spot where you can go, if I exit out of here, and I go to my settings in the uh, Simply Piano app, I can actually go down and there's MIDI volume. So every, every app's gonna have some something to this effect. So if I turn that down, you can see I'm, I'm hearing my uh, my Numa player is actually still active, so you're hearing the uh, pad from the Numa player. You're hearing uh, because local control is on the piano from the DGX, but you're not hearing the piano from Simply Piano. If I was to turn this up, you can hear that that piano is in there now as well. And then now it's gone. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I will definitely be making lots more uh, how-to videos for the DGX670. If you like the content, please uh, smash the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. It does really help me out. And that way you won't uh, miss any new videos that I make on the DGX670. I've included some links in the description below to my uh, playlist on DGX670 videos, as well as some links to some online piano training that I recommend. So thanks again for stopping by and happy piano playing. Have an awesome day.